This is a meal from Dollar Tree done in three different varieties. So let's jump into this and see how we do with it. So what I have is these little kits that they have, which basically is just a package of seasoned rice and then some sort of meat mix, and then you add the meat to it. So both of those are both of those are the same in that manner, and then this is a soup mix, so you just add water to this. So what I did was I picked those up. I've got some things to go with it to make it taste a little better, and then this one I grabbed some chicken for. Now you can really mix and match all of these, and that's why I think that doing the different varieties is really great. You can take any of these. I've got um, black beans, lentils, and rice. You can mix and match them. You could pair them together. I think this one's going to go really good with some extra beans and some rice with it. I think this one with the lentils will be really good. This one we could go meatless and put black beans with that as well. Mix and match any of these and they'll all work. And that's kind of the beauty of this video. So let's get started. I'm going to start by cooking my beans and my lentils. I've already sorted them out and then we'll come back here when those are done. I'm doing these beans in the instant pot. I'm doing them dry. You don't have to soak them. These are already sorted. So I've got a pound of black beans and four cups of water. I'm not doing any seasonings. I just want these to be um, just plain so that I can mix them in with the seasonings of the different things. And then I'm going to turn this on and seal it and set it for 30 minutes and then natural release for like 15 or 20 minutes. All right, in here I've got um, one pound of lentils. I'm going to add about four to four and a half cups of water. And just like the beans, I'm not seasoning this because I want it to take on the flavors of the different dishes. So um, I'm just going to put this on high pressure. It said nine minutes for lentils and then they'll be done. So this is the rice from the street taco package. It's cilantro lime rice. And then I'm doing an extra cup of rice. I've already rinsed it. This gets water added to it. So I'm basically gonna double um, the water that was recommended on the package, which was one and three quarters. So we have to go with three and a half cups of water. This goes on high heat until the water starts to boil. So we'll just let that go for a while. All right, this is boiling pretty good. I'm turning the heat to low and putting the cover on and then just leaving it for about 20 minutes until it's done. So I've got a pan here and I measured out a pound of cooked lentils. So I'm throwing those in here. And then I'm just going to use the seasoning pack that's for the meat and sprinkle that in. It seems like it's going to be a lot, though. Maybe I won't use the whole thing. And I am going to add just a little bit of oil because I think, you know, like ground beef would be a little bit greasier than this. So get that in there. And then I'm just going to heat this up and incorporate the seasoning into it. And hopefully it's delicious. All right, I added the rest of the pack of the seasoning because it was a little bland and a little more oil. And I'm just going to let this warm. And then the rice is almost done. And then we'll be good. All right, rice looks done. So to serve this one, I'm just going to layer the rice with the lentils and serve it like that. So I picked up both of these at Dollar Tree. So you can serve any of these, any of these ways. I'm just gonna show you. Um, these were a great steal. These are like five bucks at Walmart. So I should have probably grabbed more, but I didn't. So if I get back there, I will. But um, these are always there. And then you can always just serve it in a bowl too. All right, so I've got it scooped in a bowl. I've got one scooped in the, um, the boat. I'm gonna take a little bit of this green sauce and just pour it over. I just thought the flavors would complement with the green sauce nicely. And then this cheese sauce is kind of runny, which is perfect for this. Some of the ones you get are real thick and you have to put them in the microwave for a while. 
which is great too. I like those ones too, but this is perfect for just pouring it on there. All right, and that is everything. These look delicious. I'll give it a try. It's very good. Good? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. All right, this one is a soup mix. We're pretty much gonna keep it as a soup mix, but add a little bit of things into it. So it says it makes eight servings, that's great. Um, and we have to add eight cups of water to it. I'm gonna let this come to a boil. And then I'm going to turn the heat down and add in the other ingredients for it. This is boiling pretty good. I'm going to turn the heat down to low, I think, or maybe medium, just so it's simmering. And then I'm going to throw in the other stuff. All right, so I've got two cans of chicken. And then a cup of extra black beans. So these are pre-cooked. I'm just throwing them in there. And then I will let this simmer for about 20 minutes. All right, so this has been cooking for 20 minutes. Everything seems like it's soft. It looks good, it smells delicious. There's those chunks of chicken in there. So I will serve this up and we'll see how it is. So these can just be layered in the bowl with the rice and the soup. And then if you want to top this with cheese or sour cream or whatever you want, it's very versatile, but it's really good just like this too. So one of the great things about a kit like this is it's very simple and it's just a rice pack and then like taco seasoning. This is fajita seasoning, I'm assuming. They're very similar. So if you went to Dollar Tree and bought just a taco seasoning or fajita seasoning like those packets, like something like this, if you bought just one of these, it would be the same price as if you bought the box and you get the seasoning and then you get rice with it too or whatever they pair with it in these little meal kits. So I really think that these are a great bang for your buck because you're still getting the seasoning, but then you're getting some extra as well. Um, it just makes sense in my head. All right, so I'm doing this the same way as the other one. Um, I have a cup of rice in there. I've already rinsed. And then I've got this packet from the fajita mix. And that's going in. And then it's going to be um, three and a half cups of water. And with this one, I'm gonna do three cups of water. And then I'm gonna take the enchilada sauce and the cheese sauce, and I'm gonna pour them right in there so that the rice is all flavored. Then I'll just bring this all to a boil and then let it simmer for a while. Another thing you can do with these is um, add veggies to it. Dollar Tree does have like a pepper and onion mix. Um, I didn't buy it because I knew it had some, but also it's totally optional. But I think for this fajita one, I am going to heat up some of these peppers. And then I'm going to sprinkle in some of the seasoning because I'm doing the fajita one as a meatless one. So I want to get that fajita seasoning in here. So I'm gonna put it on the peppers. All right, rice is done. Already fluffed up. I threw in an onion because I remembered that the ones that they have at Dollar Tree are peppers and onions. And then I did use the whole packet of the fajita seasoning. This part's totally optional. Um, my original plan was to throw the fajita seasoning into here, um, but I figured it needed a little bit of bulk. But let's get it on the burritos.
All right, so here's our three versions of this meal. I did the street tacos in the bowl. I've got um, Southwest tortilla soup over rice, and I've got fajita, like meatless fajita um, burritos, soft taco, whatever you want to call it. So the beauty of this is you could mix and match any of these and it'll be fine. Like you could put the fajita in here. You could eat any of them as just a bowl. You could add beans to this to get a little more protein. You could add lentils to any of these. You could take the canned chicken and put it with any of them. This is so versatile. And when you kind of have just a base to work with, you can mix and match however you want. If you don't like the the red enchilada sauce, use the green. If you don't like that at all, don't use it. You know, there was the white cheese versus the orange cheese. You know, you can really pick any of those ingredients and just kind of, you know, choose one of the, the bases or don't. You don't have to, but I think it's a good start because it comes with that seasoning. And do it up how you want. So this is three versions of very similar things that you can get from the Dollar Tree for around, what was it, five items each and they all turned out really good. So give these a try, let me know what you think, let me know how you mix it up, because this is really mix and match, and these all are delicious.